Welcome back YouTube, Christian here. Uh, today I'm going to be doing a review on my MHS Saber that I've been working on for the past couple weeks. Right now, it is complete. Yeah, everything is exactly how I want it. So let's dive in. I ordered these parts from TCSS, link in the description. Uh, and I'm going to just describe the Saber from the top to the bottom. Starting from the emitter, uh, one retention screw, one uh, slanted blade emitter. Um, in this, uh, I painted it black and did some baking on it. Uh, control box, uh, brass AV switch, accent LED aux switch. Uh, the control box, I really like, I'm a big fan of these makes maintenance really nice or I can just unscrew these and that will come out not that I ever really have the need to go in this section or should have the need to go in this section but everything is very snug solid exactly how I want it I have two o-rings here just for some some grip some support and o-ring sandwiched between the switch section and the main body Moving down, I have a 5 inch fluted uh, female female section with O ring in the back to hold the pommel in place. And one of my favorite features of this saber is the uh, static chassis. Right now it's using a uh, TCSS V6 speaker holder. Can see there. There's all my electronics. There's my card, uh, battery in the back. It's hooked up. The battery is hooked up with JSTs, so I can change them in a pinch if I need to. 28 millimeters base speaker. Uh, the lip on this section was ground down, so it can slide in and out of this easy. Uh, this is just fitted into this section. So if I wiggle it out really slowly and delicately, you see all my wires from the board going to the switches, accent LEDs, uh, LED dies on the RGB. It's using a XML RGB from LED Supply. Oh, it's another f feature or another thing. Uh, this is a four inch fluted section, so one inch shorter than that, and it will slide on there, and you can screw it on. Right down in there, you can see that there is a snap ring to hold the speaker up, so there is like no wiggle, no rattle from this at all. This is solid. Um, also, there's a little o ring in this one. Same idea with the snap ring sitting about here. The snap ring for this one is actually in the pommel because because it's so short. Uh, this will screw in. Oh, and you see right there. I also uh, ground out a little uh, cavity for the SD card to come come out. So this will screw in. And the card is held down by a tape and a piece of paper. That's what keeps it nice and flush. So, let's get it fired up. Uh, one thing I'm going to say, uh, prisms have six sound fonts and up to ten different color profiles. Uh, I recently made a change to this. So now I have all ten color profiles and they all cycle through each other uh, along the color wheel. You know what that means. You'll have your red, your green, your blue, and it'll go through them instead of red, green, blue, and then mixes after that. And I also got the accent LED to stop blinking, so now it just stays on, as opposed to last time. So I'll fire it up. This is the gray meat sound font from Plecto Labs. Blasters, lockups, swings, flashes. I 
shut off the LED. We'll turn it off. Um, flourish from Medgal. Return of the Jedi sound font. The green die. Now each of the sound fonts can be saved to, or each of the color profiles can be saved to a sound font specifically. So as you've seen, that one was green. If I change the font. There's one Sith sound font. The color will change. This is a uh, this is a color that I wanted to s start using. It's like a like a magenta pink, hot pink, I guess. Last, uh, swings and clashes. Dark meat, red. Uh, gray meat. Alright, so now that we went full circle, I will demonstrate I will demonstrate the color changing and how that is initiated. So Color change is initiated by pressing your aux switch and simultaneously the main switch. So, so you'll press, press, change, release. Right? You'll you'll hear your color change sound, and depending on how long that sound is, that is how long the color change will take. So if you put like a really long really long color sound, it'll transition during that duration. So it cycles to blue, to the purple, to the hot pink, red, uh, the yellow, this, this was supposed to be orange, but yeah, more of a yellow, more of a greener yellow, to green, to a cyan, to a, a deeper cyan, to a deep blue, and then another deep blue. I don't know why there's so many blues. I might change those up a little bit. But overall, I'm happy. Oh, well, actually, I might keep them. Blue is like my uh, favorite color. So I like having more shades of blue. And then that'll cycle back. I like the blue on this side. Another feature, this is the mute feature, which is done by pressing your aux switch and and uh, powering it on and press and turn on your power switch. So you'll hold this or you'll press, press, press on. And then when you turn it off, you'll have your power off sound. Um, I mess with the configurations on this one. Usually, Mute can be initiated by pressing and holding this. You'll get a beep, and then you just turn that on. But I don't like like pressing and holding, waiting for a beep, pressing it again, and changing the sound font. So ultimately, I just went with that. Uh, overall length of the hilt is from the emitter to the pommel is about 10, 11, 12, maybe 12 inches. It's a good two-handed saber, and as you've seen, I can switch those sections out for a shorter saber, one-handed. So it's like two sabers in one. Uh, so, yeah, that wraps up this video. Uh, thanks for watching. Give this video a like, share it, 
subscribe to stay up to date on more reviews or videos to come. Check out my dual videos and may the force be with you.